in this video, I'm going to describe how to level a swash plate, set up zero blade grip pitch, and then set your blade pitch for collective and cyclic or whatever. <clears throat> this will be done simply using a zip tie, some tape, an Allen wrench, and a phone with a phone app on it. First, what you'll need is a zip tie. You'll feed it around your main shaft. This is done to create a static reference point. So you want to tighten around your, your main shaft, have it locked onto your main shaft, get it very tight and then you can clip it to a length where it will float over part of your swash plate or your ball links. If the height is off, you can add a piece of tape. So you can clip it to length. Then add a piece of tape to get you to a, a height that makes sense. Now, it's very important, do not touch the zip tie any longer. All you want to do is um, rotate the head around to check your gap. So you can touch it here, but once you set it, that's it. Then don't touch it. So now I'm maintaining a small gap right there. And we're gonna rotate the head around to check all the servo positions. Check there, check bar servo, check the elevator servo. Adjust your linkages or your servo position or whatever to get these all equal. And then that will give you a swash plate that is leveled to your main shaft. Small gap, small gap. You can remove the zip tie. Now insert an Allen wrench or a bolt or something through the blade grip and eyeball it to be parallel with the main shaft. This is setting your zero pitch. Now adjust your pitch links in or out to achieve more or less to get to zero. And if your head and grips have notches, you can use this as your, as your method for indication also. Do one side, flip it around, do the other side. your blade pitch, get the phone app that I have linked, either I sometimes use double sided tape to stick it to the blade or in this case just using a, a strap, go to pitch by sensor, zero your measurement and then feed in your collective and it'll tell you what you're at. 
And if you go negative, you should get about the same number. The important thing here is to zero. That's your new reference point. And if your phone doesn't wobble around too much, you should be about the same either way. The other method is to pitch by gap. So you enter in your blade length, you measure from the bolt hole to the tip. For the M2, it's approximately 173 millimeters. Enter that into the app. It'll give you a tip gap list. Then you can feed in your collective and measure your tip gap. So for demonstration, I'm just manually moving the servos, but fold your blades back, feed in your collective, and then measure the gap between the blade tips. So I believe for M2 for 12 degrees, there's like 71 millimeter gap. And that should get you close enough for everything. Thanks for watching.